And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Yo guys, what is up? Spencer today, back with another video, and I got a free for all for you. This is number nine on my quest to win a uh, free for all with every gun. I believe this is the sack 13 or the sack 69 or the sack sack something. I have no fucking clue. It's it's one of those numbers. Um, it's a decent gameplay. This thing's not not too easy to use, although I make it look easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, you you could like see the frustration in their eyes when I would kill them with this thing. I know if I got killed by this stupid thing, I'd be a little annoyed. But uh, you know, enjoy the gameplay. Cause uh, today, I, I want you guys to relax today. You know, sit back, kick your feet up, forget about life, forget about homework, forget about parents or kids or whatever your worries may be. And I just want to—I want to tell you guys a story. I was telling my friend the story the other day, and I, it occurred to me, you know, everyone I've ever told it to has enjoyed it or at least got a kick out of it. So I figured you guys may—you probably will too. So, flashback, freshman year, college. I move into my dorm. I find that I have two roommates. One is a white kid from New York. The other one is Chinese, and that's very important. Um, he's a nice kid, love him to death, still talk to him to this day, but there was this issue, and you know, I mean, my roommate, my other roommate didn't know, really had to know how to approach it, right? So he, he, he doesn't believe in Western medicine. He's only he only takes Chinese herbal medicine. So every every night, I don't know what he had. Maybe he got headaches or he was. I don't know. He took this medicine like a couple times a week, and he would have to. It's not just like these leaves and you eat them. He had to like make it and like bake it. I don't know what. I don't know what he had to do. He had to use some sh like cooking expertise to get it going. And so every day he would make this. Um, let's see. So now he told us what was in it one time. And it's like all these different leaves, like it's okay. And the weirdest part was bug exoskeletons. There were like dead bugs in this herbal medicine he had. And I don't know what else, like, dude, like, I don't know, like ancient Chinese spirits, like I don't know, a bunch of shit in there. And it was, um, I don't know, it just, it was pretty weird to, to me. Obviously to him it wasn't weird, but to me, uh, you know, being strictly from the West, from the US, I've never, really never encountered this kind of stuff before. And so, so he would put all this stuff in a bowl or some something. So remember, there's the dead bugs, the herbs, the uh, the ancient Chinese spirits, the I don't know. And he would have to bake it in an oven. So you know that's okay. You know whatever you got to do to feel better, right? But this it was the most disgusting smelling thing in the world. I've never smelled something so bad. It would just stink up the entire room, and this is a dorm room. Keep in mind, so we don't have a kitchen in our in our dorm room as a freshman. It wasn't a suite; it was a dorm. So he would have to go into like the lounge, and this is the big lounge, uh, the one, only one with like an oven. And he would have to go into this lounge, and he would bake it, and he would absolutely destroy the lounge. Like, people could not step foot in there. The janitors wouldn't go in there. One lady started crying and cursing God in Spanish. It was bad, and. <laughs> it was just a nightmare. It smelled so bad. It smelled the whole room up. People would have to leave the floor. It was that bad. It was everywhere. And um, so I, I, I mean, you can't just tell the kid to stop, to stop taking it. And one of my friend, one of my friends actually really needed money, so he bet uh, my my roommate, the Chinese roommate, uh, said he'd give him twenty bucks to drink it. Dude gulped it down with some of the worst displeasure I've ever seen on someone's face. But yeah, so it just smelled like abs absolutely terrible. And I mean, I guess it must have been worth it because he took this stuff like day after day, week after week, month after month, and just like never, he would never not take it. And, but I mean, it's not like he, he, he just hasn't lost his sense of smell. He could smell it, but he just didn't care. And so, when the, like, this was like a whole thing in our dorm, like, uh, our dorm, our residence hall. Like, everyone knew about this, and they're like, oh, God, it's that time of the day again. He's cooking the, uh, the herbal medicine. And it's just something I've never encountered before, and I thought it was kind of interesting just to see, like, uh, like a different take on medicine. Like, I know, maybe you have, like, a hot tea when your, your throat is sore, but this is, like, I don't know, something else. Like, a hot tea to, like, cure headaches and sickness. 
And I don't know. I, I don't know if it worked. I mean, I guess it worked because he kept taking it. But I mean, I, I don't know. Just thought of like drinking dead bugs because once he would bake it, he would like take the juices from the all the leaves and the shit, all that shit, and put it into like a cup and drink it. So the rest of the stuff just just got discarded. But like the thought of like drinking dead bugs is kind of like disgusting to me. And like especially after seeing it and, like, and knowing. I just, I can't think about it. Ugh. Anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any comments, leave them in the, the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. Drop a like. It means the world to me. It helps me out more than you even know. Even if you don't really care, just, you know, if you could hit a like, that like button, it would mean so much to me. Subscribe for more content, guys. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I'll see you next time.